Stan Jabalisco here to explain a concept that confuses some people in basic electricity. It is called voltage drop. Have you ever heard uh, someone say that a certain resistor has a 5 volt drop across it? Or a certain uh, component will produce a voltage drop that depends upon the amount of current that flows through it? etc etc well I'd like to explain basically what I mean by that term voltage drop or what engineers and technicians mean when they talk about voltage drop imagine a very simple DC circuit 12 volt battery and three 3 ohm resistors connected in series and the whole set of resistors then connected across the battery now suppose that we want to find out uh, what the current is in this circuit. That's not particularly difficult. All we need to do is use Ohm's law. The current equals the voltage divided by the resistance. In this case, the current in the circuit is 12 volts divided by the total resistance 3 plus 3 plus 3 or 9 ohms and that happens uh, that works out to be um, four-thirds of an amp or 1.333 and so on amps four-thirds of an amp well <laughs> That's not exactly a round number, but we can go with that. Four-thirds of an amp. Maybe that would be a better way to, to express it, because that's a precise value, whereas 1.333 is an approximation, no matter how many threes you run out there. So four-thirds amp. Now, what is the voltage across each of these resistors, then? Well, each resistor carries four-thirds of an amp. <clears throat> Remember that the formula for Ohm's law, another formula for Ohm's law is voltage equals current times resistance. So in this case, it's four-thirds the current through each resistor. Remember that in a series circuit, the current is the same all the way around. No matter what these resistances would be, the current through each one of them is the same. So we have four-thirds of an amp flowing round and round and round in there. Four-thirds of an amp times three ohms equals four volts. Four volts across each one of these resistors. So if we were to take a voltmeter and, say, connect it across any one of these resistors, we would get four volts. V standing for voltmeter would show us 4 volts if we did it across the first resistor here 4 volts 4 volts 4 volts so you end up with 4 volts in series 3 times which is the total voltage of 12 volts that has to be the case according to Kirchhoff's laws which you probably are learning about if you're taking a course in basic electricity well that's, uh, that's interesting. Sometimes people will say the voltage drop across each one of those resistors is 4 volts. Well, let's just say now that we make the negative terminal ground. We have a negative ground circuit. You ever hear of that? Chances are your automotive electrical system has what they call negative ground. So we consider zero volts to exist at this point where the negative battery terminal is connected. So up here, of course, we have plus 12 volts. We have plus 12 volts over here, too, because just a dead short right there. We have zero volts here. Well, what do we have at these intermediate points? Well, you can probably guess if there's 4 volts across this resistor, 4 volts across this one, and 4 volts across this one, then we're going to have plus 4 volts at this point and plus 8 volts 
at this point. What that means is that if we connected a voltmeter between this point and ground, we would get 8 volts. So we could say then that instead of 12 volts at this point, we have only 8 volts. The voltage drop across this resistor is therefore 4 volts. Similarly, if we connect a voltmeter between this point and this point, we're going to get plus 4 volts, or 4 volts reading on the voltmeter. So the voltage drop across this combination of two resistors is 8 volts. That is the voltage drop. Now you know why they call it drop. It drops from 12 volts down to 8 volts plus 8 volts, down to plus 4 volts, and of course the voltage drop across all three of these resistors is 12 volts, so it drops down all the way from 12 to 0 volts. That's just sort of an expression that is used. Uh, sometimes you'll hear terms like dropping resistor. You might wonder, what in the heck is that? Is it something that you're supposed to be dropping just for fun? Well, not really. Resistors aren't much fun to drop. Something that's more fun to drop is like a great big old-fashioned television picture tube. Don't do that, by the way. Don't. Don't. Please don't. Don't tell them I told you to. Tell them I told you not to. <laughs> uh, or don't tell them anything. Just don't do it. It's really stupid. But it is fun. I ought to know. I've done it. Stan Gibalisco signing off for now. Don't practice. No. Practice what I preach, not what I do. So long.